Each year, millions of people in the United States take blood thinners to prevent strokes and heart attacks. While it's a life-saving medication, these drugs can make a serious fall or accident deadly because it's harder to stop the bleeding. Tonight, KXAN's Amanda Brandeis tells us about a new drug developed by a Seton researcher that could solve that problem and save thousands of lives. When my mom was sick, I lived in Buffalo. Um, I used to take care of her. A job that got harder with time. Things started happening. She got older and, um, and she started hurting herself, falling. One day, her mother crashed into a door hard. She was on blood thinners and um, we couldn't stop the bleeding. We had to take her into the hospital and um, you know, it took all day to stop. And we see devastating bleeds from what is otherwise minor trauma. It's quite frustrating as an emergency physician to be in that situation where you can't do anything for the person because we don't have the solution to the problem. Austin Travis County EMS sees it daily and says an antidote to reverse effects of blood thinners is a critical need. Now we're close. So it just kind of sweeps it out of the way for a little while so that your native clotting factors can work. And, uh, and stop the bleeding. Dr. TJ Milling helped develop the new drug, Indexinet Alpha. The FDA designated it a breakthrough therapy, meaning the drug maker can start marketing the product before the clinical trial is over. It could be available in emergency rooms next year. Uh, this drug is the first one that offers a solution which may benefit a lot of patients. It could have, it could have helped her. So patients and caregivers can live life with less fear. Amanda Brandeis. KXAN News. Patients will likely get this drug at an emergency room in a hospital rather than in an ambulance, and that's because the drugs are expensive and have complicated dosing. The antidote could be a lifesaver for many people. A federal study found more than 4.2 million American adults take blood thinning drugs. Most of them are age 65 and older. The study found just 1% of people younger than 65 used a blood thinner. Some 80,000 patients each year have bleeding complications linked to blood thinning drugs.